found quietness and a graffiti and a red dragon. It appears I've found some very animated people. I wonder what they're animated about. I'll let you guess. So I wanted to go that way, but all the people are that way, so we have to go a new way. Okay, this new way is equally as cool. Okay, the mic says you are picking up the noise. I am not noise reducing that because that is my experience here. And to be fair, it's the experience of every weekend in the UK in March City. So check this out in front of me though. There's this massive cathedral, you guys. It says access is this way. Maybe we should check it out. So one thing about small towns that's amazing is that you have so many options for activities. We could go here and go to the market or we could go behind us and go to the church. What should we do? I think the church. Let's go see dead people. I see dead people. Check this out. A tree has seen. Let's go listen to the tree. Oh, it's muddy. We won't listen to the tree. Let's go in the door. Check out the stained glass from the outside. Now throughout this tiny little cathedral, it was so beautifully decorated. Now most Protestant churches don't believe in a lot of ornate decoration. This one though had more than most and I really appreciated it. I mean, just look at these old statues and all of the stained glass over here and the choir benches. Beautiful! That was a pretty cool church. Okay, this is cute. Check this out. Look at all the cute bicycles. Hey guys, look, a castle. Whoa. Some zoom happened on that accidentally. Okay, castle. Should we go inside? I think we should. Ooh, grocery store. I'm also quite hungry. Castle though. Guys, look at this castle. This is so pretty. Okay, we gotta figure out how to get in. Now, to get in the castle, there's multiple ways. Invade it. Or, cross the street and don't get hit by a car. I'm gonna go option two. It's castle time. Dun, 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 dun. Does it work? Maybe. We'll see. So a little about Cardiff Castle that I'll tell you right now. Whenever the Normans invaded the, the British Isles, it was in England then, whenever the Normans invaded the British Isles, in 1066, they built a bunch of stuff around, as you do when you invade a new place. This was one of the things that they also built, along with the Tower of London, the stuff that we saw in um, Chester, which I don't know if that video is gonna post before or after this one, but hey guys, we're going to Chester. Cuckoo. Okay, so I was gonna download the audio guide and listen to all sorts of amazing facts. But audio guide wants access to all of my files on my phone. And come on guys, privacy first. Check out all of these things though. So these are where you would go sneak in. Look. When the board does not be obvious though. So we're standing a 
a little above here. And over here we can see a castle. Over here we can, there we go, see some walls. So in front of us, we see the tower that Mr. William the Conqueror built. You can see it's built in the Norman style and raised on a hill. That's how we know it was from him. It's gonna be a weird walk over here. So this clock tower took five years to build. I mean, that's pretty much a long time to build a clock tower. Now over the course of the years, it's been redone and we can see Venus and Mercury on the sides. Nice little dog. Let's go see what's over here. This is a poor top here, though. Oh, no, but that's a really pretty look. So we're inside this beautiful castle. Look at all of these rooms, you guys. I wish we could go a little bit more into this one. I'll just show you around. Check out that. Isn't it pretty? The best thing about this is the ceiling. Like all around this castle, there's beautiful little ornaments up top. And we have stories in the windows. So if we start looking at the top of the ceiling, we see all sorts of activities. Look you guys, activities. And then we come down. Look at this room. This is beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. So these are all like wood carvings out of the wall. So instead of having tapestries like we see in a lot of the Spanish castles and everywhere else, it's just all wood and it's painted and it's beautiful. I mean, check this out. Isn't that pretty? And then we have a story painted on the ceiling up here. So if that was the banquet hall, wouldn't the next question be, what does the dining room look like? So we're going down this little spooky echoey hallway and that is exactly what we're finding out behind down these stairs. Let's go see. Okay, we've entered the library and it's the coolest room. I mean, look at all these statues that come watch you as you read these books. It's like being stared on as a kid when you're supposed to be doing your homework. But by Moses and Jesus and all of the other famous religious people. I mean, I think I'd rather my parents stare at me than Jesus and Moses and famous people. But all along here, we have all of these famous books. I don't know if they're real or not, but they look real and it's pretty cool. I and mean, just look at this. The works of Byron, the Holy Roman Empire by Bryce. Highly recommend that. Dumas. Okay, let's go see where these stairs go now. Oh, not up. Ooh, sparkle stairs. Let's go down. We're outside. So after I've spent like the last, oh, check this out. That's a pretty view. When there's no people. Pretty. So after I've spent the last month, month and a half, in towns that are less than like 5,000 people each, it's very strange to see this many people in a single place. So yeah, that's weird. Anyway, look where we're going. And the Puerto's abierto. Check it out. 
are going to see what Mr. William conquered. He was built after he conquered. So around 1081, about 15 years. Nope, that math is wrong. But 1081, a couple of years after Mr. William had moved into the British Isles, he came here and built this. And we're waiting in line to go up it. Now, if I was going to conquer something, I totally do this. Put in a one-way system. Because then at least I'd know if my guys are coming out, baddies are coming in. So we're going to go explore this. We've made it up the steps. And this is Cardiff in front of us. Let's go inside. Check it out. Now I should say, like, whale. Let's go inside. We need some more whale jokes. So this is where an army man would have stood on guard. He could have shot this. Now what we see here today wasn't actually built um, with all the stone in 1081. It was mostly built with wood, but there was never a roof put on it. So then in about 1200 during medieval times, it was rebuilt in all of the stone. Oh, we found William. So we're in this massive open air courtyard where we can see the kitchen over here in this corner. Broke. Kitchen fire. Where they would have just chilled. Oh, we're going in the watchtower. Tiny little steps. Imagine going up staircase that's meant for one person, but bi-directional, with all of my new friends. Now, check out this view that we have in the city. So over here, we see our clock tower, we see the stadium where you can play all sorts of sports and activities. We see below. And we see this structure over here. Now, I'm not sure what it is, but I think we'll go explore it. Because there's a dragon on this building, see? Dragon. And if there be dragon, I want to see. Guys, would any trip in the UK be a trip without a Roman wall? Look at this thing. This is like right under the castle. This is so cool. Let's go see more. Okay, I made a wrong turn and ended up in the military museum, which is cool, but I wanted to see this wall. So, let's go make a left turn in Albuquerque and check out this wall. It's pretty cool, right? I think it'd be awesome that 2,000 years after I live in a place, my shit is still around. Today we use internet and digital archives. The Romans just used really good self-healing, whoa, concrete. And then next to the Roman wall, there was this huge huge and beautiful wooden artwork carved of like a bunch of Roman stories and all sorts of stuff and it smelled kind of weird so I walked down the entirety of it and took pictures and appreciated it and it was pretty cool okay now we're gonna go explore something else because I've been here for a while and I'm hungry and I have an appointment tonight with a very important spa so we're gonna go explore before that so pro tip when you're walking around if you see a science set arcade go in because it means there's more than one activity inside. So let's go inside and see all of the activities. Well, this place is cute. Well, this is cool. We have some history of Cardiff through the decades. Around the castle, there's all of these arcades. And each one of them has been here for a very long time. So here, 
We see how it looked in 1958 and 1964. Queen Street had a previous cinema. And you can see that they're trying to put more shops in here. Some are open only on the weekdays. Today is a weekend. So there's a bunch of stuff that's not open, but there's a bunch of stuff that is. If you want a private dining, you can eat in there and have all of these people outside here stare at you as you're eating your food. I guess voyeurism, voyeur foodieism. Who knew? Now we know. <laughs> So there's 11 billion people out, but I'm a grocery store. So I'm gonna go find a place to consume my food. And then I think the next time I see Mr. Camera as a dude, whatever. My camera has the title Mr. I'm not entirely sure if it's gendered. Uh, next time I see the camera, it's probably gonna be tomorrow because I'm not necessarily healthy yet and my, my talking hurts. So I'll see you tomorrow and we're gonna be exploring more of Cardiff because there's some cool stuff that I want to see. So see you tomorrow. Welcome to a new very sunny day in Cardiff. We're walking in this nice little plaza to kick off the morning. Look how cute this is, with all the nice artwork. And we have a nice statue here. So we're walking towards one of the more newer parts of Cardiff today. And I'm excited to show you as we explore to get there. So let's walk around and see what we see. So I'm just wandering around the area and take a look at this sign. There's also some cars here, I don't wanna get by a car. This is a super sparkly sign. Isn't that pretty? Greek Street Church. It's likely part of a Greek Orthodox Church. I just think the sign's super pretty. And then across from us, we see this massive cathedral. I think we're gonna try to go walk around and see like what's on the other sides of it. The gate's open. And a Sunday so we may not be able to look inside but at least we can see outside so let's go check it out hmm well there's the front door of the church I don't see much else that we can go into and the sense that Sunday there's church in session today so I don't think that we'll go be able whoa pff, English I don't think that we'll be able to explore in there. So let's go walk around the back side of the church. So I'm not entirely sure what type of church this is. One thing to note is that while England has the Church of England that Henry VIII created, whenever he got pissed off, the Pope wouldn't let him divorce all of his wives. He ended up divorcing and killing. Um, Scotland and Wales don't actually have their own state church. So there's a bunch of different other religions here and that sort of stuff. I mean, there's that in England as well, but there's like no nationalized church here. Now you'll see in a bit, but I did not expect to encounter all of the drug paraphernalia that I have stumbled upon. Like I'm in a decent part of town, and usually all of the stuff that I've seen is like in different parts of town. So I find that a little bit interesting, I guess, but it's part of exploring a new city. Well, got to look out there. Part of exploring a new city, part of what I like. Um, yeah, there's also a lot of bread around here. I think that if we stop feeding birds bread, they'd stop coming and attacking people's lunches. That's my morning thought of the day. So let's continue walking ahead. 
Okay, we have reached where the bay is. And I wanted to come here because like all bays, this is where a bunch of old port stuff and where old buildings were. The wild center of town also has some old stuff. This architecture here is really pretty. It looks like there was a little party here last night. So I saw the seashells and I was like, oh, Pilgrim. No, look at this old building here. It's just really, really pretty. There's some older stuff here. And then we can just imagine what it would have looked like. I don't know, maybe like 50 or 60 years ago. Oh, this building is cool. City, so it's the city of Cardiff building, I think. But check out, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Check out that face. That is a cool face. Now the thing that I find really interesting about this part of Cardiff is that it's like rough in some areas. And then other areas, you have these beautiful buildings like this. But then like right out in front of those awesome areas, you also have like remnants of the night before. So it's just like this really cool mixed energy of like super cool old stuff, party from last night, super cool old stuff. We're gonna go this way now and check out this building. That's a cool building. How cool would it have been? Hi. Wanna be in the vlog? Come on, you're pretty. There's a little dove. Look at this. Like, letters would go in there. Okay, now we're gonna cross a street. Like, you can see the state of this, which is, it's a beautiful building. We're gonna cross the street and I'm gonna show you like literally what's right across the street. So, stay there. So we are literally right across the street. Right across the street, we have all of these new shopping centers. We have Tesco. We have a Mermaid Key. So we're gonna go into Tesco and find something to eat. I mean, this is so crazy. Like we just went from where I was seeing needles and other drug things on the floor. And down here, it's like you have all of this super nice stuff on a pier. Oh, you can go on a little tiny boat ride. Dunk. So you can also take a ship to the castle from this pier and vice versa. It leaves every hour. And down here, you can see all of the little activities that you can take. And I may do that. Well, you'll have to wait and see, and so will I, because I actually have no idea what I'm going to do. Check out this, though. We have a nice little Ferris wheel right in front of an old building with a really cool statue on it that I can see and you can't. And then this very modern looking building. What is it? I will tell you. In the 1800s, this building behind us was opened. And the whole area that we're in has been pretty important to Carta. See, this building here, and along with everything else, was the center of so many different expeditions and shipping stuff, and things to bring to the city of Carta. Like in the early 1900s, there was a ship that flew, a ship that sailed, ship sails, they don't fly, a ship that sailed off from this port going to Antarctica, didn't make it, but it was going there, it had motivation to go there. Check out this building though, like it's so crisp on how it's, it's made. Pine cones in the corner. Now we're approaching 
one of the main reasons why we came to Cardiff is to see the Senate. I think that's how you say it. This is the Welsh Parliament building. And it's a pretty cool architectural structure. I mean, just look at that. We're going to go walk up it. Now, while Wales is part of the UK, each different country in the UK is allowed to have their own Senate. They can make some decisions about like healthcare and economy. They don't decide immigration and big stuff, but smaller stuff and how they treat criminals. It's all happened, all happened, all handled um, by the different countries. And I think that's pretty cool. So let's go walk up and see. Maybe the puerta will be abierto. Focus. Isn't that cool? Okay, I don't think it's open. But it's very cool. You know, across from us, we can see like a nice little, we're in this massive bay and this is a natural bay and you can see over here where the ocean um, is chilled out. This is a nice viewpoint. I've decided, I think I should probably see if the ship is going downtown because I told you, I don't feel very good. So we're going to go see if the ship is going there and walk in front of me and see what's here. And a ticket. We're going on the dragon boat. Check it out, it's super safe. If it sinks, we just have to hop on the roof and we float away. Let's board the ship. Yar, matey. I'm on a boat. With my fluffy fluffies on. I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat. Everybody look at me, cause I'm sailing on a boat. Ship, take it, see. Let's go see what we see in the sea. Okay, so we've just got off the ship, and now I want to take you to something that I see in front of me, but you can't see it yet. In front of us, it's just starting to appear right here. We'll jump cut to it. Appreciation time. Isn't it cool that we can still see stuff today? It was around like 5,000, 7,000, 10,000, 15,000 years ago. Who knows how long? I mean, look at this guy. He looks pretty stable. What was these used for? Well, like in other parts of the UK, these were used for a variety of things. Sometimes ceremonies, sometimes religion, sometimes auctions. Oh, we have a helicopter. All sorts of stuff. So now let's go see what else the city of Cardiff has to offer. So we're entering the museum of Cardiff and this is all about the social history of Cardiff. So in here we're gonna learn more about the people. Check this out. So this was the ship that left the port and was headed for Antarctica. This museum is really cool. So one thing I find interesting about Cardiff is that in 1801, there was like 2,000 people living here. And then 50 years, 1850s, early 1900s, there was over 200,000 people living here. That's massive growth that this city had to do. And it also explains why we don't see a lot of buildings here older than the 1800s, because there was really no one here. So I think it's really interesting even today to feel that, like the city feels like it wants to explode. If you're into energy, then you'll understand that. And if you're not into energy, then you probably think I'm crazy, which is fine, chill. 
Um, but yeah, it's just such a, it's such an interesting vibe here. And like another thing that we've learned is that transportation, like public transportation here kind of sucks. And it always has. And it's still trying to learn how to be a public transport city. Okay, I've had a nice rest. Let's go explore to see what else is here. So this is the original entrance to the Cardiff Museum that we're in. See, this used to be the old library. Isn't this beautiful? Look at all of these stories on the wall. These tiles here were brought in by the Tsar of Russia. So if you're ever interested in what it's like to go to Russia, like me, I imagine it's like this. Yesterday, we saw how busy this was. And today it's way more chill. I mean, was it the sun that brought everybody out? Was it the protest? Who knows? Now, one thing I learned in the museum about Cardiff is that there's always been a bunch of protests here. So what we saw yesterday is not uncommon. It's also not uncommon given the current time and everything else that's going on in the world. So I've been looking all over town for art. And finally, I see some. Look, art, art, art. Let's go look. Oh, it's next to a sick building. I saw some of this stuff in Riga. I mean, okay, duh, I saw buildings in Riga, but like... And there's this guy on this wall. Isn't it pretty? Okay, I think I have to go this way because I now I'm by the dumpsters in an alley. So let's go see if I can find some more art. Look at that. Where has all of this been hiding? That's really pretty. We have like these little baby dragons up here. Oh, another piece. You guys, how did I miss that? Let's go see it. Oh, that's pretty. See, it pays to go down random streets with no names. Now in front of us, we have a very beautiful church. And even another one, even more in front of us. You know what church means. Usually more graffiti. Let's go see if there is some. Well, my plan was to find a train. And we're in the opposite direction of a train station. So let's appreciate the statue. I'm not entirely sure why he's staring at the traffic, but he is. In front of us, we have a very beautiful building. You guys, look what I found. Another stone circle. Let's go check this one out. I like that there's a tree in the middle. Look at all the stones. Stone circle. Appreciation time. This is the UK government building. And on top, we see the dragon. Rawr. I found a building we can go into. It has a very cool sign. Mr. King George V opened this in 1927. Other things that George V is known for? Giving Canada our flag. Now inside this art museum, there was so much really cool art from old stuff to new stuff to photography to sculptures. It was the one of the most best curated art museums I've ever been to. I think it's time we go down this nondescript stairs where these people are coming out and start to embark on our next adventure. And I think I'm gonna save my voice for the next city. So I'm gonna go fall on the stairs. Let's go take a look at the last bit of graffiti that I want to show you before we sign off for today. Music is the heartbeat of the people. 
thanks for hanging out with me today. Subscribe. Ciao.